This is my 1961 TR3A. Had it a pretty good while, about 12 years, I think. And I decided to put another engine in it, a uh, completely different engine. It, uh, the engine that, that's in it right now is a uh, Toyota uh, 3S GE blacktop. Started putting it in around May of 2012, and now it's November of uh, 2012. Just working on it every uh, other weekend or so when I'm when I have time. But anyway, I uh, just got tired of the old tractor engine that was in it. Probably makes some try people angry but the collie is just that that engine just is just not really that dependable if you're going to take a trip you better take some tools and I'm hoping this engine and I think it will be uh, much more dependable and a lot more powerful it's been sitting here running I've driven it up the street a, a, two or three times just to uh, see how it would do trying to uh, see if the uh, Triumph radiator will keep up with the engine as far as keeping it cool and it's been running about 30 or 40 minutes now and uh, I don't even think the uh, thermostat's opened up. Uh, still around 200 degrees and running only water. I don't have any antifreeze in it. But anyway, this is the, uh, this is the engine. Very smooth running. Man, I'm telling you, it's, uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, far from being complete, but uh, I'm getting there. Just uh, got my headers built, my header built, and there it is, very tight fit. The Triumph hit uh, exhaust from the other side, so the exhaust is going under the engine and back on the passenger side to the original exhaust. Everything's temporary right now because the uh, cockpit, I mean the uh, firewall is cut back about seven inches uh, and it's still opened up to the to the cockpit. I've uh, got a sheet metal guy that's gonna finish finish that for me. But I'm trying to work the bugs out of it before the end. Uh, just took it out and kind of washed it. It was really dusty. But uh, this car's uh, pretty straight. It's been repainted. It's not certainly not a uh, an original color. It's kind of a, I don't know, green, whatever, metallic. It's pretty nice. Uh, anyway, I uh, have my battery mounted back here in the trunk. Just it's not really mounted, it's just stuck back here for now. Uh, temperature. About 200 degrees. I was gonna say it's just been sitting here idling. I've driven it some, driven, driven it up the street. I've got a kind of residential street here. I can go up back and forth a few times without getting stopped by the police. This is the transmission. It's the uh, rig, an original Toyota uh, transmission uh, uh, J160, I think, uh, six speed. Pretty tight fit, but not really bad. The uh, the hood's going to fit uh, the without any modification at all. The, the top's off the engine right now. The little black valve uh, cover, or the uh, that the has the uh, uh, three SGE beams symbol. Uh, this is uh, this is the air intake. It's been modified. It still, ha I don't have an air cleaner on it, but. Uh, and that down there is going to be a, that little chrome or the aluminum pulley is going to be a uh, tack drive. I'm going to uh, drive my tack uh, directly off of the uh, the balancer with a belt that goes over to a uh, bearing.
Here's the old uh, engine and transmission that I've taken out of it. It's a uh, pretty nice engine. It's just been rebuilt not long ago. It's had a lot of things done to it. I was trying to make it, to modify it, to make it uh, more dependable, more powerful. I fuel injected it. That didn't work out too good. Probably would have somebody that's a little bit smarter than me, but uh, this is a, uh, a an overdrive transmission. It's in excellent condition. Well, it just sits here and and runs without shaking. Uh, it's really a really a nice setup.